Hello everyone. Today we are going to read a beautiful sonnet by William Shakespeare, True Love. So let's begin with the poem. Let me not the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Shakespeare says that true love has great strength and it should not accept any kind of impediments which means objections that are raised before some proposed marriage they may be related to caste religion color status or anything true lovers don't care about this type of objections created by the people for them they don't care what others think about them love is not love which although when it alteration is find or bent with remover to remove further he says that love is not true love which alters when alteration or substitute is find no matter what happens but true love will never change if the person changes due to some reason when he finds alteration or a betterment that means that love was not true love because true love is unchangeable true love never bends in any circumstances true love can never be tempered by anyone even if the one person become more distant only one who truly loves remains the same true love never falls from its idol and not it get affected by the problems and the objections of others oh no that's a ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken true love is permanent it always remains same but here ever fixed mark is referred to lighthouse that looks on tempest means which faces many storms but it never shakes from its place same it is with true love because true love faces too many storms but it will never change it will never shake it will remain same and rigid as lighthouse remains rigid after facing too many waves after facing too many storms same thing happens with true love after facing too many storms after facing too many difficulties it will remain same and if it will change that means the love was not true love it is the star of every wandering bark whose words are known although his height be taken it means that the star is referred to the pole star which guides the path to the lost ship in the same way love is also like pole star which guides the other one when he is lost in the difficulties of the world true love helps other one it directs the other person towards the right path in the same way pole star do he for the says whose words unknown means the value of pole star is unknown no one knows how much is cost although his height is known to everyone in the same way no one knows that how much true love cost because true love is invaluable the value of true love can never be defined by any one of us no one can define the depth of true love no one can define the amount of true love love is not time's fool though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending strickle compass come 
Love alters not with brief hours and week, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. Shakespeare says that love is not a toy of time. Physical charm suffers under the passage of time. Physical charms come under the bending struggle, but true love never come under it. Because true love never changes in the long hours, weeks, months, or years. True love remains same. Because true love is something which is not based on physical charm, which is not based on physical beauty. If it is based on physical charm and on physical beauty, then it will fade away with the passage of time. But because true love is not based on these things, that's why true love remains the same till the death, till the end of the person, till the end of this world. If this be error and upon me proved, I never write, nor no man ever loved. At last he says that whatever I said about the true love is wrong. If it is incorrect, if it is proven upon me, or if someone proved that I have not lived upon the definition of true love given my be, then he will admit that he is not a poet and he had never written anything. He will admit an another thing and that is no man ever loved that it means that no man has never been loved in the world there is no love that exists in this world with this he ends